Hi students, this is a reading lesson to go along with week six of our summer distance English practice. This is a reading for my afternoon students to go along with the afternoon homework packet. If you are not a member of my distance English class, no problem. Follow along with your pen and notebook. Write down any new vocabulary that you hear in this story. If you are a member of my class, you should always be following along with the paper in front of you, marking any vocabulary that's new for you, and then practicing the pronunciation of that vocabulary together with your mobile device. Let's jump into this story. This is an older article. This is from March 27th, 2017. But this is still a very controversial, this is a very big topic in politics in the United States, which is why we are including this story in our homework this week. The article is titled, House Cancels Vote on President Trump's Healthcare Bill. It was published by Associated Press back in 2017. Washington, D.C. President Donald Trump was disappointed on Friday. A vote on an important health care law was canceled. The law would have removed Obamacare. This was the health care plan created by President Barack Obama. Republicans and Democrats are the two main political groups in the United States. They do not always get along. Obama was a Democrat. Trump and most of the lawmakers in Congress are Republicans. Republicans never liked Obamacare. They tried for most of Obama's presidency to remove the law. Republicans would not support Trump's bill. Donald Trump is a Republican. When he became president, Republicans were hopeful. They thought they would finally be able to end Obamacare. On Friday, though, many Republicans refused to vote to pass Trump's new health care law. Republican lawmaker Rodney Frailing Huesen is from New Jersey. He said the bill would raise costs for the people who voted for him. Other Republicans agreed. Several announced they would vote no on Trump's bill. The lawmakers did not like Obamacare. They just did not like Trump's plan either. Before I continue, let's look at these definitions on the right. Health insurance. People buy health insurance plans. This is how most people pay for health care. It keeps people from having to pay the full cost of things like going to the doctor or getting surgery, which can be very expensive. Obamacare refers to the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, a controversial health care law signed by President Obama in 2010. It expanded coverage for low-income families and made sure sick people could still get insurance. The last two definitions, Medicare, a health insurance plan for all people over the age of 65. It is paid for by the government. Some people buy private plans as a supplement. Medicaid, a government program similar to Medicare, but for low-income people of any age. It helps people who can't afford insurance. Trump's bill would replace the current health care law. If it did pass, Trump's health care bill would have made many changes. It would have taken away an unpopular rule from Obama's plan. Under that plan, everyone has to have health insurance. Health insurance is needed. It pays for doctor's visits and medicine. The way it works is that people pay an insurance company. They pay money when they are healthy. 
that money does not get used. When they become sick, they get to use the money. Without insurance, healthcare is very expensive. If someone does not have insurance and gets sick, hospitals have to help them. Still, they will have to pay eventually. If someone cannot buy insurance because they are poor, the government can help. People can get Medicaid. With Medicaid, the government pays for most healthcare costs. About 70 million people use Medicaid. Under Obamacare, Medicaid was extended so more people could use it. Trump's plan would have undone this. Fewer people would be able to use Medicaid. They would have to buy insurance instead. The new health care bill would have also lowered future spending for Medicaid. Trump's bill would make insurance more expensive. The Congressional Budget Office does research. It does not favor either Republicans or Democrats. The office looked at the Republican bill. It said the bill would have a bad effect. The office said in 10 years, 24 million more people would not have insurance. The Congressional Budget Office also said the new plan could also lead to higher costs for some people. They mentioned that poor people would pay more. People just under age 65 would also pay more. At age 65, people can sign up for Medicare. It is another type of health care that the government provides. This health care is for seniors. How was that story for you? What new vocabulary did you learn? As always, put that word into a sentence. Ask any questions in the comments under the video to let me know what was easy, what was difficult, what thoughts you have after hearing this story. Until next time, students. Bye.